You know how you have to constantly provide fuel to a campfire for it to continue to burn? Well, the same goes for your negativity. Your negative thinking, your pessimistic mindset, your self-doubt, it all needs to be fueled. And guess who's fueling it? You are. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you may be unconsciously fueling your own negativity and negative self-talk and how to put an end to it. Just think of it this way. A bully or a coworker comes up to you and they begin their verbal abuse. Now you could either get mad, lash out, get sad, take it to heart, or, hear me out, <laughs> you can smile and nod and say, why do you think that? Or, everyone's entitled to their opinion and thank you for sharing yours. Is this easy to do the second reaction? No, because oftentimes these bullies or these external influences know exactly what to say to push your buttons. They know exactly what will take you off. They know exactly what to say or do to get an emotional reaction from you. But remember, your negative reaction only fuels their negative behavior, whereas your positive reaction kind of cancels out and not, does not make their negative behavior as fun for them anymore. And now imagine that this bully is your own self-talk. It's your negative mindset. As if your own negative thinking were its own person who knows exactly what to say to push your buttons, to get an emotional reaction out of you, to get you to submit to their negativity. When you begin to think of your negative thinking or your pessimism or your self-doubt as its own separate little person or entity within you, it becomes easier to recognize it and then react to it in a different way. Simply put, you cannot continue to tolerate this behavior from that negative aspect of yourself. You can even give this negative aspect of yourself a name, George or Barbara. You cannot let George or Barbara speak to you that way anymore. You need to confront George or Barbara each time they're starting to have their fun, right? Each time they are starting to say these things that they know are going to push your buttons to make you doubt yourself, to not go after that dream or that goal, to not believe in yourself that you can conduct that meeting or become a manager. Imagine you have this coworker. And you know this coworker does not like pretzels. And in the break room, there's always these little snacks and these little individual bag of chips or whatever. And you love pretzels. And your coworker sees you starting go, go, to go over to the break room and there's only one bag of pretzels left. And they know, they know that you are going to go get those pretzels. And so they run into the break room, they snatch the pretzels. You can react in two ways. One, you could lash out. Why are you taking the pretzels? You knew I was coming to get them. You know I love pretzels and I know you don't even like them. What are you going to do with them? Or you could, I hope you enjoy those pretzels. Which reaction do you think they're wanting? Which reaction do you think is going to stimulate them to behave that way again versus take the stimulant away? from their behavior. Now apply this to your own mind. There will be times perhaps in which you have a stream of negative thoughts or self-doubts or you allow your bad habit to overcome you, right? There will be these times in your life and you can react in multiple ways, well two ways mainly, right? You can react with frustration, with rejection, with hatred, with uh, disapproval or you can react with acceptance and kindness and compassion and understanding. Again, not easy, but one is much more effective in changing that behavior or that self-talk or that negativity than the other. You see, when you reject something, you are fueling it. Whereas when you accept something, you are showing it kindness and compassion and understanding. Have you ever heard this idea that bullies themselves are only being a bully, they're only lashing out, they're only causing harm because they themselves are hurting inside? Well, when those bullies find a healthy outlet for their anger or their hurt, or someone shows them kindness and compassion, 
that changes their pattern. They're caught off guard. They see things differently. They realize that there is good and there is positivity. And they are not given the stimulant that causes them to be hurtful even more later on. Their hurt diminishes and their hurt is the fuel for what is hurting or causing them to hurt others. Show the same acceptance to your own self, your own negativity, your own self-doubt. Accept my self-doubt? Stephanie, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, hear me out here. For example, you have a thought in your mind, I'll never be able to do this. Rather than submit to it, to allow it to cause you not to go after that thing or do that thing or attempt that new skill, instead, speak to it, again, as if it's a separate part of you. And I have a whole video on parts work, which I'll link, um, which may help further this healing within you. But anyways, rather than submit to that thought, I'll never be able to do this, address it. Hmm, why don't you believe that you'll be able to do this? Where is this lack of confidence coming from? I believe in us. Anything that we know now, we once did not know. And we were able to gain that information and skill. Why can't we apply it here? That negative thought, that part of you that is causing that negative thought, is not expecting that kind and understanding reaction. It's expecting you to submit to it. To allow that thought to stop you in your tracks. Remember, our minds want to keep us safe. And what is safe? Safe is familiar. Safe is things we already know how to do, right? And so this part of you, by speaking this negative thought, this self-doubt, is actually trying to help you. It thinks it's trying to help you. It thinks it is helping you by keeping you safe. But that conscious logical aspect of your mind knows, again, that anything you know how to do now, you had to have learned. And that same thing can be applied to this new situation. And so you speak to this part. You give it examples of all the things you have once didn't know how to do and now know how to do. And that everything will be okay if you attempt something new. So when you are confronted with a self-doubt or a negative thought, dig in. Acceptance and understanding and compassion is what it needs in order to stop. Not you ignoring it or getting frustrated, because that's what's fueling it. Don't fuel it. Diminish it. You can't fight fire with fire, right? You can't fight negativity with more negativity. You've got to show it positivity, to cancel it out, to at least make it neutral, right? So dig in, introspect, find the cause, the reason, show compassion, and heal and prosper. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you got out of this video, if anything, down in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. Have a wonderful day.